Hello and welcome to this video of the SOLIDWORKS Module 2 where we will be looking at fillet and chamfer. In practical applications, a design engineer is always required to incorporate fillets and chamfer in the design so that the higher stress concentration regions can be avoided. There are different ways that we can use the fillets and chamfers in the SOLIDWORKS model or a solid component. So let's get started with the new part file. I'm going to use the unit systems as the millimeters and start creating the cross section of the L-shaped block on the front plane. I'm going to use the sketch line. and create the L-shaped cross-section. Let me use the constraints to make the thicknesses in both directions equal. So I'm going to use the constraint or the relations by clicking on both these edges by holding down the control key and then choose the option as make equal. Similarly, I'm going to select the outer edges by holding down the control key and make them equal. Let's use the smart dimension and assign the dimension for the outer edge as 100 millimeters and the thickness as 25 millimeters to fully define the sketch. Once we define the sketch, then go to features and use the extrude base option. And let's use we uh, let's say we use 100 millimeters as the extruded depth. I'm going to click on the check mark to finish this solid model. As you can see, that there are a lot of sharp edges and also the area that we want to use the fillets so that the stress concentration can be avoided. So I'm going to go to the fillet option and there are four different ways that we can assign the fillet. The first one which is most commonly used is the constant size fillet. If I click on that, we can choose the edge to provide the round or we can use the inner edge where we can use the fillet. We can choose the multiple instances to implement this feature and the radius can also be uh, chosen before we click on the check mark to finish this fillet feature. If I click OK, the fillet is formed. So we can get the round as well as we can see the fillet that has been created here. Okay. There are two ways that we can hide the feature once we create it. Either we can move this rollback bar, click and drag it so that the feature is now disabled. We can see that the feature is grayed out and it's no longer an active feature here. Again, we can move this rollback to make the feature active. Other way to do with this is we can right click on the feature and then click on the suppress. Once we suppress it, it also does the same thing as disabling that feature for now. Let's take a look at other ways of creating this feature by clicking on the fillet one more time. And this time I will be using a variable size fillet. If I click on the edge where I want to create the variable radius fillet, I can choose the number of points as how do I want the transition of the variable radius and also I can input the values for the radius. Let's say I want to start off with 5 millimeters on one end and go up to 20 millimeters on the other end to add this fillet with the help of these three points to create the transition. I can increase the number of points to make the smooth transition. 
Once I click on this check mark, the variable size fillet is also created. Let me move the bar above this variable fillet so that the feature gets disabled. Let's go back to the fillet one more time and this time we can use the face fillet option. Make sure that we input, we select this input window first and then click on the face where we want to add the fillet. I'm going to go back to this input window, click on it and then click on the face that we want to use to create the fillet. So this is basically uh, very similar to the selection of the edge or creating a constant radius fillet. Instead of selecting this edge, we are selecting the faces in order to create this fillet. The end result is still the same. And the last option in the fillet is the full round fillet. Once we choose this full round fillet, we have to make the selection of three faces which are connected to each other so that the full round fillet can be created. Start off with the face number one. I'm going to go back to the input window here and select the second face. Go back to the input window and then select the third face. And that way we can create the full round fillet. This is how we can use all the fillets feature to provide the rounds as well as the fillets to the solid model. All right, so the next thing in this video we will be looking at is the chamfer operations. If I click on the chamfer, again, I can see that there are various ways of using this chamfer to provide the slanted face on the sharp corners. The first option is angle distance. If I click on one of the edges here, I can notice that the inputs that I can provide here to create the slanted edge or the slanted face is by creating the distance and the angle by inputting these values. Also notice the direction with reference to which these numbers are given. So for example, if I change this 10 to, let us say, 5, we can notice the distance from the upper vertex from this point to the end of this chamfer line is equal to five millimeters and the angle is 45 degrees. The angle is with respect to the direction that it shows, the line al along which the direction is shown and uh, the chamfer edge. So this angle is 45 degrees. If I increase this angle, let's say 60 degrees. So now we can see this angle is 60 degrees. Okay. And the distance, as I said, is with respect to the direction as shown here. So if we make it 15 or probably 15 is a bit too much. Uh, let's me, let me make this as, uh, let's say seven. So we can notice the, uh, the distance increases accordingly. Uh, that's basically what the chamfer is. So it removes the material by providing the slanted face. The other option in the chamfer is the distance distance option and we can choose that as the symmetric or asymmetric. If we choose symmetric option and let us say we select a face, both the directions are having the distances of seven millimeters. If we choose that as asymmetric, then we have the option of choosing the distances accordingly. So this distance seven, if I make it to 10, and the other distance, if I make it to 15, then we can have the chamfer created accordingly. Let's take a look at the other option of the chamfer, which is the vertex. So in the vertex, depending on which vertex that we choose, 
and the distances that we provide we can create the chamfer accordingly if i choose 10 20 and 20 along the three orthographic directions with respect to that vertex along those three edges and click on the check mark we can create the chamfer as per these specifications let's move on and let's um, take a look at uh, the face face options first so very similar to the round fillet uh, we can also create the uh, chamfer by the selection of the faces so if i select this face and um, and the uh, other phase but before we select the other phase make sure that we come back here to select on the input window and then click on that face again we can adjust these distances and accordingly we can create this chamfer instead of selecting the edge we are selecting the uh, faces okay so that's all from the fillets and the chamfer video i'll see you in the next one